Hello and welcome. In this video I will talk about what is a web API, what is ASP.NET Web API, I will talk about the features of this technology, when to choose this technology and finally we will do a hello world. Okay. So what is a web API? First let's talk about the API without the web okay so API means application programming interface and is a interface of functions that allow us to access data and some procedures for example in C sharp when you use the system library you can access right line to print text message to the console output if we include the web to the API concepts we have a API over the web that can be accessed using HTTP protocol okay this concept is not only for .NET technologies this can be used in other worlds like Java Python Kotlin and so forth okay an example can be the Google Calendar API, the Facebook Graph API, Twitter API or some weather API that you can find out there. So what is a ASP.NET Web API? It's a framework for building HTTP based services that can be accessed from different applications and platforms okay for example you can have a web application that do HTTP requests and get HTTP responses from web API service or a desktop application or even mobile applications also you can nowadays you can include those high OT softwares that exist out there from for example you can access a web API from your watch okay and about its features you can work with HTTP verbs get post put and delete so with this you can create read update and delete data Okay, CRUD. It has responses formatted for JSON, XML, even binary. You can do your custom response format if you use MediaType format. Also, it can be hosted on IIS. It can be self-hosted or on a web server that supports .NET 4 or higher. And it has support for OData. When to choose? If you want to build a service that supports only HTTP protocol, if you want to a RESTful HTTP based service, or if you are already familiar with ASP.NET model view controller, if you want to avoid the complexity of Windows Communication Foundation, this is actually a light, a very lightweight architecture and it is open source so if you have these concerns maybe this can be your choice so now let's go to the fun part hello world i'm using microsoft visual studio community 2015 you can use more up-to-date version first thing go to the file menu choose new and project then go to the template visual c sharp for web and choose asp.net web application give a name for your project hello world and choose a folder okay then since we want to do a from scratch total zero project we choose empty and okay So if you go to the Solutions Explorer, you can find that we have already our project that is empty. Just have the web config and packages config, have some references. So the next thing to do is install web API. To do that, we go to the tools and choose NuGet Package Manager, manage NuGet Package for solution, then we have just these two installed. We want to browse and find a web API. 
we choose microsoft.aspnet.webapi and we check our project to install on this project install then the guy says what it will install we say ok again it asks us for permission to accept or decline the license we choose accept and it's finished if we go to the installed we can see already that we have this web api installed okay so if you go to the solution explorer and if you notice in the references you have new things like newton soft.json and some other libraries so the next step is doing our configuration for the web api our service let me create here a folder for the configuration configuration and inside this folder i will create a new item that is actually a code class and my configuration so the file was created under the configuration folder it's called my configuration and inside this we will add a method that is public static void and is called register it has a http configuration as a parameter we need to import system web http next thing to do is config map attributes routes and config routes map http route we call this method we give the parameters name default api for example and route template is api we have a controller and slash we have uh, action and for now is good since this is a completely ordinary class our service doesn't know what this is we must inform the service that we have this configuration okay to do that we go to the solution explorer and we need to add a global azax file so right click on the project and add 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 new item we choose web and we need to find global application class okay global azax add and the guy at the beginning creates a lot of methods we don't need these we just need the first method so i clear all and inside the first method we must say what we must inform the application that our configuration class exists global configuration and the guy doesn't know what this is we need to import the system web http and the next thing to do is call the method configure and give the my configuration and we must import this class and the method register that we created these methods okay this is the basic configuration now we can create our first controller so i will add another folder for controllers i will call it controller in singular and inside i will add a new controller visual studio already have this uh, shortcut controller but i will go here new item just for you to see where to find we choose web and web api is the web api controller class we can give it a name like 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 my hello controller the name must end with controller okay my hello controller and say okay it creates a lot of things inside let us get rid of all 
let's create our first method public string get and it will return a string like like return hello world from web api just this now we are ready to run our application i choose the google chrome you can have another browser if you want it opens the browser it gives a uh, forbidden because we didn't give it some things like remember the configuration here we have this pattern the api slash controller slash action so let's go to the browser and give a slash api slash controller is my hello if we go to the solution explorer we see that we have in our controllers my hello controller so the controller is my hello just my hello doesn't have the controller part slash and get get is our method this method okay so if i hit this we get this hello world from web api let's mess around with this if you want to add another public string let's say say hi and it will return from say hi okay if we run this and if we go to the say hi it will give us a error the request resource does not support http method get why because because the first method is the get the name is get okay and because the conventions this guy has by default this tag http get so because this is say hi is not get it doesn't follow the convention we must say that this is a get method run again now if we try to access this it says from say hi okay another thing just let's explore these if we go to my configurations and we can say for example for example defaults and we give a new action is equals to let's say say hi so with this line of code we are saying the default method to be called is say hi let's see what this does so if we go here to the address and we remove everything we just have api slash my hello and go here now we have from say hi okay this is the default to access the get we must say the action api slash my hello slash get and with this we can access the, the get method this is the end thanks for watching and Hope you like it.